three fingers Hello? Much more oh, one, one moment, I need to pause this to be more original. So, I continue my adventure. Um, today goal is to basically travel to Big Empty and end this shit. Um, I had like two big books of science, so I assume once I wear this shit, my skill will be 100, exactly. Perfect. Let's just check uh, my inventory. Okay, for now. I go with Stealth Suite because it's provide me with bonus to speed so we don't be slacking very slowly going there. I wanna get there relatively silent. But also fast, so if something detect me or, uh, you know, I will get spotted, I will continue marching or sprinting. Please, please, please. Okay. Prepare to be attacked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I just need to pause this to compose my brain. Okay, goal is simple. I am invisible right now. This scorpion don't see me. We'll use every distraction we can get to start this fight or two. My ultimate goal would be to not kill this giant turbo scorpion. This is a Seven. I don't wanna destroy this scorpion. Looking for a weak spot? There are no weak spots. Crush them with your pincers. Basically what you can do is this This is only temporary solution so
And now I am afraid if I activate turrets, giant turbo scorpion will die. Basically, if you destroy giant turbo scorpion, you um, strongly damage Dr. Mobius uh, research and you will be very sad. I mean, I know you might see Dr. Mobius as sadistic bitch, uh, however, have good intention. He's just, he's just crazy, like. Nothing wrong with being crazy, really, guys. Question is, do we wanna risk with to be turrets? They are probably too strong. Yeah, I will just take XP and stop it. Okay, I will launch. Easy. Okay, let's change my dress to... Open this shit. This is document about emergency shutdown that basically turn off a robot scorpion. And this is procedure for turning it off. We made it pretty harmless myself. So gain some XP from Okay now leveling leveling up no slow me down a little but I will try to be fast about this I have no clue where I wanna add points Okay Hmm, means I don't know. Best idea would be to add everything to on arm or melee. Go continue and see which perks I have available. Weapon handling uh, removed by two. I'm not planning on using multiple weapons above 10. Nether Rage is relatively good, but how low you will need to drop? 20%. That resistance is very good.
light touch is very good. Okay, let's drop an arm because it's garbage. And let's go melee. I made mistake there, you should not uh, change because now it will be harder to basically see what I wanted. Rat child. Demolition expert. Flash damage is good. Unstable to be force is amazing. Okay, I'm going for a melee attack to make it to 76. Oh, unlucky number. Yes, 76 melee. And this shit, 76 unarm. Yes. Okay, 76 unarm is more important. So everything unarmed now, and I will be looking for Pilgrim Illustrated before level 25. And for now, we need to basically some stall. Adamantium Skeleton is great stall. Fast Metabolism is also not bad. Uh, for now better take Adamantium Skeleton. There is one very good reason to do this, because you see after big empty you can reset your traits. And for now I have Skillet and a Logan loophole. I'm level 24. After reset I will take uh, Malframe, which basically made my limbs more fragile. Funny once I was fighting this Roboscorpion without uh, upgraded uh, Sonic Emitter. It wasn't really hard or anything, it's just, you know, you are losing possibilities. Uh, let me save. And this will be hard save because uh, in Obsidian games you basically wanna save before every dialogue. I know I will have soft save, uh, quick save here, or autosave, it's just, you know, not the same. Oh fuck, I forgot about this brain talk. Okay, never mind. You can stall it a little. For example, you can collect his glove, his uh, rags. and other shit. Okay, I got Dr. Mobius scraps. They are very good. 
like ultimate item is from this place. They are much better than this pathetic Dr. Klein scraps. <laughs> However, I would argue that Dr. Klein uh, 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 is this, 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 this I object called Fuck, I'm I, I'm fucking like this is so exhausting uh, mentally to st to talk when playing and when you're trying to say something that doesn't sound like complete babbling. Or ramping. These oculars from Google as or something. Dr. Mobius once uh, gives explosive and Dr. Klein's gives repair. Uh, probably, pr I'm probably wrong. I'm uh, more often use explosive than repair. Yeah, you use repair only in speak check or in some rare uh, traps. When explosives, you you use optionally, like. So maybe just my playstyle change with time, and now I see explosive arm as more useful skill. By the way, I still can't find uh, these stupid glasses. That doesn't matter, we find stash of this person. Mentat. Mentats are basically one of the best drugs in Fallout. Especially when you create part-time version. High charisma sounds like trash, but keep in mind this is plus 10 barter and plus 10 speech. By the way, reason to loot everything is to basically have this empty indicator later. aspect of this game I really hurt is uh, is like my compulsive scavenging. I mostly have it from Skyrim, and now it's moving to every game I play. Like I like crafting and all, it's just like I can't provide you with good gameplay because I'm so so, so much fucking looter. I like when this loot fits to the world, so it's not like I'm, uh, you know, finding some uh, 200 years later uh, never touch uh, equipment, like in Fallout 4. But it is still basically looting for looting still, I am not... I'm not very mindful about it right now. Okay. 
Okay, I want to make sure. Okay, we are still looking for these stupid glasses. Uh, you know, major problem of glasses is that it's extremely small sucking object. And you can't have follower Rex Pelk there, so... fucking mind. I know they are somewhere. Probably in not this, but second one. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's see if I don't have them in inventory. Glasses, yes. As you saw, I don't have Morbius glasses. You basically get bonus XP for co cosplay. Damn, I feel, I feel so fucking stupid right now. I assume every fucking single person know where these stupid oculars are. Okay, maybe they are they are on the ground somewhere or Okay, let's just say they are not in drag room room. Since I skipped Mentat, I could... Electrons attached to the neutron, the neutrons attached to the meson, mesons connected to the proton. Okay. Combat armor, okay. Yeah, basically, World War Blue gives you so fucking strong items that you no longer and we'll use anything other from any other DLC for a very long time. Interesting. Yeah, okay, let's give up. I will be looking at uh, for the stupid glasses of screen because I don't wanna look more stupid than I look now. Like I feel like I saw them like thousands of times. Electrons attached to the neutron, the neutrons attached to the meson, mesons connected to the proton. Yeah, let's talk to my Dr. Mobius. Hmm? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Hey, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. <sighs> Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. 
should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. <laughs> I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Uh. Oh, well, that's good. Were we supposed to fight? I certainly don't feel violent, but, well, these contraptions make it hard to tell. <laughs> uh. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. <laughs> oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The anomaly? You're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. <laughs> Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Good, good, better. Oh, oh, yes, that feels wonderful. Mm, this is even better than my afternoon mentats break. Mm. If I can, basically, if you can't pass this repair check and you kill his giant scorpion, you can't uh, finish this uh, confrontation without violence. Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data-drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Oh, was it mustard? 
Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. I find things curious as well. Go on. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I <laughs> sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name. And my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan Bs in case the A's fail. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. 
And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Really? It is so unlike me to make an error in anything I do. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Uh, sadly, I can't do anything really. Like, uh, this feels kind of weak from my side, but I still am wearing those or Mobius. Uh, Things instead of uh, stealth suite. So well, let's go with medicine. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats in just you instead of the other way around. Hmm, Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal. And yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the auto dock in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Oh no. I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. Hmm. Yes, I certainly wouldn't loop it on purpose. Purpose? Purpose? I am far too sophisticated to make such a childish error, error, error. Uh, not much, except they contaminated Big Mountain and installed new ideas in the think tank. One caused a great deal of infrastructure damage with his brain and smartiness. Ruthless, that one, played a little rough with the trains. 
But the last one was the most dangerous. Him uh, slipping away. That was almost as bad as the think tank escaping. The first one, the ruthless one who smashed up our toy trains, asked for weapons, power, items he could use to destroy a nation with force. The other... The other asked a different question, and with it, got the true answer about what makes nations, and what breaks them. He spoke to the think tank to climb, showed them the flag of the old world, and it made them remember all of it, all that had happened. They shared things with him that they shouldn't, he now carries those ideas, that knowledge, elsewhere. I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth! My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. This is basically a reference to uh, uh, Wizard of Oz. Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. I'm big fan, Dr. Morbius. Your uh, hem, uh, hem up broke uh, seems basically wonderful. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Now that 
seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Okay, so now we basically are allowed to confront our brain, which is basically like, you know, personificated brain of male being that we need to convince that going with you is safety choice. Uh, this will be rather hard. Oh well, this gives me like 19 science, uh, 2 speech, 2 barter, this gives me 10 speech. This gives me like 2 guns, 2 lock picking. Something like this, maybe perception, yes perception. This gives perception, can be uh, much oculars. I'm basically trying to determine what should I wear. Endurance is plus two survival. Perception survival. It's relatively hard to combine so much object at the same time. Okay, one endurance, two perception, perfect. I can choke one mentat or something. Confrontation with brain is relatively hard, you don't wanna fuck it up. You wanna have your brain back. You are not taking hurt if I remember correctly. Yes, I'm still, still looking for this stupid ocular. Uh, one moment, I will look at the wiki because it will drive me mad to the rest of this exploration. Dr. Mobius. The last I mean, they are easy to find, just. Holy shit, where is that? In the think tank. Okay. Okay, okay, that explains it. I mean, I'm sorry for torturing you with such fucking incompetence from my side. Uh, it wasn't intentional. Let's quick save. Who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Confrontation with brain is not very pleasant. Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Hmm. After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. 
Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. Really? I need to get back on this? Okay. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? I... well... that's a completely different matter. The tank isn't biological, it's not the same at all. Uh, I don't really wanna go with this dialogue. I don't like uh, going top to bottom with dialogues. Uh, I usually do because I wanna hear everything. But this time, let's oh, go. Oh, had this. I? What exactly will you do if I don't? Not put me back in that cranial dungeon you call your head? Heavens forbid. Uh, I don't want to treat him. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Well, maybe next time you hear me telling you that charging a knifekin with a penknife is a bad idea, you'll listen. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well... Barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. If you want me back, we need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Farkas woman, for example, she seems to know a thing or two. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. Promise me that, and you've got a deal. This is honestly kind of annoying because if you know if you would see me playing, I was basically going uh, back and forward from Julie Farkas, and uh, you know she was checking on me like five times a day because I don't like killing, so I rather just avoid fighting. I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? 
Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. But still, given the tremendous, potentially life-ending peril that went along with those... Yes, yes, I'd rather stay here. Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I wonder what this failures. Uh, holy shit, if you could uh, like quick save in the middle of dialogues like in Fallout 4, that would be useful. Uh. Uh, let me try, I, I don't wanna repeat this shit, but... Yes, I think you haven't quite got the hang of punning yet. Okay, good, I can loop this. I hate to say it, but your ability to handle high-tech energy weapons doesn't exactly instill within me great confidence. Oh, great, I can basically scroll down. Easy. I see, and you plan to be standing in the midst of this mayhem? Well... That's a novel strategy. Uh, honestly, I will most likely do it. Even if I use unarm to convince him, I will use explosive because it's my favorite playstyle. Before you go that route, do me a favor and read up on the history of battles in which men with swords fought giant brains with lasers. Not much of one for the high-tech approach, are we? Well, I suppose we'd best get on with it. This option basically gives you your brain to your pocket. Right! Look out, Think Tank! This brain is coming out of its jar! I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Your brain added. Uh, sadly, my brain is quest item, otherwise I could uh, basically drop it on the ground. 
let me at least show you inventory icon. It's QST, as you know, as quest object. Says your brain for oh, your brain is not questing them. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. At least I showed you my brain, so we can go. Mm. Yes, I'm showing final adventure, so I don't cut there. I will have to basically cut this video into pieces. Because I wanna basically present confrontation with brain and present confrontation with Morbius. Because, you see... Fallout is not exactly good action game, at least not with my current mods. I just installed things that make mm, movement and, uh, you know, traveling better. I'm not really aim for action experience, what is this? Okay. By the way, uh, loot uh, logistic design is very clever in this field. Like, let's just say you basically rush this place on level 1 and for some reason can get there. And even if you die on one shot, you can grab the leer from that shelf, you can grab ammo from there all around the place. And you could possibly gun blazing through this robot. It will be of course hell at low levels, but it is doable, which is very impressive to basically uh, design your loot in the game to fulfill that uh, playstyle. Uh, right now we will have to run, because Wait, enemies are quiet right now. Let's jump. This is one of the best perks in the game. Three to strength and uh, two DP. Yes, this is also a very good perk. Let me check my own perks. This is not a big deal. Okay, current idea is to basically convince Think Tank pacifist quickly. So, Dr. Mobius 
caps and we can also wear the thermobis glow Sadly, I forget where are other seats. However, I have last update to Jogbox. And I can't use it because I need to switch on Matrix. Okay, let's do it real fast. Oh, I gave it to him for a little moment and I lost shortcut. Okay, let's face the stink tank. I have plus 2 perception instead of speech, which is bad for this specific confrontation. Okay, let's go. Basically, to finish this, you can solve one part that I meant at. And one black coffee for her. No, coffee is bad because it gives intelligence and we have maxed intelligence. Yeah, let's just go. Hello. That's very dumb of them. Usually there is like trigger that force player into talking with them. If I can just throw grenade and pre-fire. Hmm. I mean I assume it's one of the bugs. Like, you know, Fallout New Vegas have few bugs. <laughs> Todd games in general have bugs. Like, you know, it's a Bethesda game when you uh, when you see flaws, but it's Obsidian games when you price it for, you know, for good stuff. That's basically how it works. In one of these uh, rooms, 
There are glasses I missed. And since you saw me being obsessively crazy about them, that's not going to change now. Pink tank behind the locked doors. Did I use uh, Dr. Mobius glasses to repair or something? Holy shit, my brain. Okay, this, this is Dr. O or other of these perverts. Okay, never mind. Let's find some plasma. Pulse grenade. Very weak. Oh my needs. Ragnade. Okay, that was quite extreme. I wonder if they possess a unique object. Yeah, this is basically how I would confront them if I would go violently. Basically making first move is extremely powerful. Okay. Uh, however, sadly we must be pacifist and we believe in... Oh. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Honestly, whatever at this point. This fragment was extreme. So. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped?
Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, basically, hmm. usually there is a flag that trigger you to target them. I recommend watching your tone with me, lobotomite. Now, your brain, hand it over, <laughs> or we'll extract it again. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. Yes! Wait, you did, didn't you? You are lying! No, you are not. Your heartbeat, perspiration, all excessively confident and sure of yourself. Why would you reason with that maniac? He'll destroy us all! That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. There's no way Mobius would condescend to step inside you. Besides, there's no way such a thing could be accomplished. It's impossible. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Uh, Stunt is correct, as is shunt, which you will be intimately familiar with as we're dissecting you. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, prodded at it, made it squirm. For you? And for science? I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. Yeah. Thank you for what you... You can also bluff your way. The teddy bear lab So is Mobius. This debugging obsession of yours really has you hooked. <laughs> Either that or this is what Yeah, they were
on the bottom of Impregnate you? What? Do you want to make me vomit inside my tank? The mere notion makes the edges of my biomed gel crystallize into asymmetrical patterns. Until... I have no fucking clue where are Dr. Mobius glasses. Anyway, that will be it. Thanks for watching.